Since we're apologizing, videos. This is definitely gonna be in videos. Hold on. It it was bad, but so today Empire. Now this game is supposed to be revival. They I've been a long time Assassin's Creed fan. I've played every game. I'm not one of those people that only could be improved so much more. Never seen the like, Paul Feller. So I really hope that this game is going to be great because normally they would have released a game last year in 2016, but they're waiting till this year to release it. This hasn't happened since Ezio, which we probably think is why this is going to end up being a trilogy trilogy gameplay. And so this trilogy like Ezio, it's but it's going to supposed to be a lot better and it's going to be taking place in Egypt and a slave that's pretty much all we know and they're trying to say it's gonna be double the size of black flag I don't know how they're gonna manage that but I guess it could be they're taking two years to make this happen this could be good but I'm really hoping for the best here and so with this game it's supposed to be tons better because you know it I know it Assassin's Creed has not been what it could be for many years it's it could be a lot better I mean Ezio Trilogy was probably the last good game that they've had in a while Oh crap, I didn't see that. Whatever. Okay guys, we know Ezio Trilogy probably the last well-made game that they've had. Definitely by far. Because all these other games we've never gotten to invest in the characters at all. You get one game with very few DLC. Honestly, they should have just put those in the game because they were so small. I was pretty pissed about that. And for someone like me who enjoys these type of games, like FPS I love, but Assassin's Creed, that's that's where it's at for me. And honestly, I just feel like they've taken away everything that we love about Assassin's Creed. Almost like supply drops with COD. And super pissed because... They can be so good, but they're just not. And I feel with this empire, they want to do a trilogy. And I think they need to because that we don't have... Honestly, people hated Assassin's Creed Unity, what I'm playing right now. I love the idea. I think it could have been so much better, though. When you ch when you choose to not, sorry, I had to restart. I have like no health, and my fighting is crap. I haven't played, but honestly, this story could have been better. But we could have developed this into. They could have developed this into a trilogy. I would have loved to see Arno carry out his assassin career, because we're getting them when they're like so young and. Like, with Ezio, that's how it started. I mean, in the last game, he was, like, what? Like, 60? I mean, I don't even know how he's jumping off of rooftops, but he was. And I don't know how they did it. But, I mean, I can say one thing. Empire needs to be better, because this is either going to bring them back, or they're not going to... They're not going to be very successful. And they're, they're, it's pretty much going to be dead. And so, I just hope that they'll get this one right. And pretty much that's all I want to say. But now, reasons why you should be excited. Okay, they're saying this is going to be double the size of Black Flag. Do you know how big Black Flag was? That means this will be giant. <laughs> It's gonna be so good. 
It's going to be such a big game. That's what I'm most excited about. I like, and it's, they say it's going to be like a Witcher 3 feel. That, that's more open. You make your own decisions. It's not like this game where they kind of help you through everything. Like, that's where they've gone wrong. Ezio Trilogy, they're not holding your hand the whole time. You can have freedom, which is why I paid $65 to get the Ezio Trilogy remastered. I love that game. And if they, they just screwed it over. And the next thing that I'm super excited about is they're taking two years to make this. When they're taking that amount of time, now remember, this is the amount of time they took for the Ezio Trilogy. If you want to take that long, it's gonna it's gonna be good. Hang on. It's supposed to be really good. And if they're taking two, hey, don't steal that. If they're taking two years to develop a game, think about Unity. Unity took what, ten months? How much better do you think this game will be? Oh. Also, I'm really excited about the fact that this could be a trilogy. We get to develop this. They get to develop this character so much. We're going to get the full, like, we know Ezio. I mean, probably the least developed character, I'd say, was in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which is why I beat it for the heck of it, and then I was like, man, this game is probably the worst, worst thing I've ever played, and I returned it. And we're going to get that development there. What I'm really also excited about is, I love how it's history, and they've always stuck to that, we have to make this, like, realistic, to the history they don't have a lot of history on ancient Egypt like artifacts wise and how the people were and who the people were so we're gonna get a lot more like a lot more freedom here like Witcher 3 open world you don't have to stay defined to that one little to what they what the history says which also could be a downfall because that's why some people enjoy it. But anyway, those are all the really excited to be playing Assassin's Creed Empire this year. And they actually said they might go into 2018 to make this amazing. Now, I don't know how that's going to work. But I'm really excited overall for this game. And I think y'all should be too. And with that said, this is Griff Games and Such. See you in the next video. Peace.